Hey there, Lunar Child, and welcome now to Wednesday. Well, I think it's going to be a cloudy and spaced out day, really kind of out of your element, but there's a full moon, which means a full dose of your ruling planet, and I find cancers do one of two things during a full moon. Go absolutely nuts, or actually stabilize and kind of become a couch potato and, do, and eat and do all those family things. Either pulls you in or pulls you outside. Either way, it is kind of the universe giving you a shove off the diving board, so to speak, not to mention this full moon is conjuncting Uranus, which literally is kind of a push off the diving board. Uranus' goal is for us to innovate and get past our understanding of things. And in order for it to do that, Uranus usually trips us. And then when we fall, we see, oh gosh, look, there's a rock there and a ledge and a cliff and a valley that I would have fallen into. Golly, thanks Uranus. Well, today you might have that kind of event happen, but in the perspective of your philosophy and your beliefs. Because this full moon in Pisces is happening in the house of belief structure for you. So maybe that day where you finally see the Da Vinci Code and you're a devout Catholic. You know what I'm saying? We're just kind of like, whoa! You know, you just can't believe the breakthrough of understanding. But because it's a full moon and you're an emotional creature, you don't want to be holding a gun at that moment. You know what I'm saying? I grew up under a cancer. Y'all can be dangerous if you go too far. Well, the good news is, though, the sun is ruled by Venus today, and that is in the house of communication. So if you find yourself going through that epiphany with a gun in your hand, you're going to have the ability to be creative on the, in the moment and have a lot of self-compassion. And that is kind of the backstory for cancers too. Whatever event happens today with this full moon and the Uranus conjunction, it's also really in the background you still believing in yourself and loving yourself unconditionally, retro, uh, represented by the retrograde Venus in the second house. And I know I'm kind of sketchy in how this may manifest, but when it's the house of belief structure, God, it's kind of up to what you believe in and the wackiness of your own mind as far as the spectrum of how this can play out. Just realize it is a test of faith, the test of faith in your own philosophy and unconditional love for yourself in the moment is the best way to go. All right, Cancer, that's all we have for Wednesday. See you tomorrow with more. Move, love, be. So